Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a video that was requested by somebody I know in real life and it was a how to do winged eyeliner video and I'm going to be showing you how to do winged liner with an, a gel eyeliner because that is my favorite type of way. So if you want to learn how to do that, then just keep watching. And also, if you want to learn how I got this makeup look, then I will link my tutorial down below or somewhere in this video, somewhere around my face over here. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. Bye. Hey guys, so the eyeliner I'm going to be using is my favorite, the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. And I'm going to be a small angled brush. I like a kind of short angled brush that isn't too dense. Like the... It's pretty thin so that you get kind of a thin line and it's not too thick of a line. You kind of have the option of making it thicker or thinner. So that's my favorite kind of brush for it. I know people like to use flat liner brushes, but that makes it a little harder to wing out at the end, I think. So first I'm going to dip the brush into it and get like kind of a lot on there. And then I'm going to take the cap. And I'm kind of just going to smush it in there. And that kind of pushes it into the brush and also gets off any excess. And get basically the whole brush covered in it. And I'm going to first start on the inner corner. And just slowly, it doesn't matter how long it takes as long as you like it. So don't worry about going too quickly. And I'm going to first make a very thin line towards the inner corner. and then drag it out very slowly with just short short strokes and I don't want this line to be too thick so I'm not going to go too crazy with it and I'm just getting a little more on my brush and doing the exact same thing pressing it into the lid like I did before and I'm going to keep on dragging it Don't worry about how long it takes you, just worry about how good it looks. It is gonna, gel liner does take a little longer than other liners because you have to keep dipping it and stuff, but I like it the best, so I don't mind taking the extra time. And you're just gonna keep dragging it, keep it in a base, like a straight line along the eyelid. And now, when we get to the edge, you're gonna bring it straight out to that, to the outer corner of the eye. When you get to the edge, you're gonna put your brush basically in the crease of your eye where your where your eye ends like in that little flap right there and you're going to take it up at an angle basically the angle that your bottom your bottom eyelid kind of curves up you're going to take it up there and keep it at that angle and then just flick it up flick it up and that's, you, you get to decide how far you want it. I'm not doing mine too far out and I'm keeping it along the line of my eyeshadow because that's how I want it to look. But, I mean, the way you do your wing is up to you. You can take it out more straight, you can take it out more up if you like a curved line, or you can take it out straight if you like more of a, kind of a Cleopatra looking line. So I'm just going to keep it basically in the middle. And then I'm going to take my brush, flip it so that the angle is kind of down. And I'm going to take it where I put that line first, and then I'm going to drag it in towards the line we put on the lid. And this is the part where you get to make it as swoopy as you want. I'm not a fan of too swoopy of an eyeliner, so I kind of just take it straight. But if you do like swoopy, then you kind of swoop it when you take it down. So I'm going to just keep mine straight. And that's it and if you have any like extra over here you can take some concealer and clean it up but I mean I'm not too much of a perfectionist when it comes to my eyeliner it's really hard to tell that it's messed up like you, you have to look really close for for you to tell and you can you I hope you can see that because my eyeshadow on the outer corner is pretty dark but I hope you can see it well Ooh, I just made mine a little thicker and I'm just taking the end of the brush the tail of it and flicking it out the tail of the brush is what's going to give you the the flicking motion so now I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye I'm dipping the brush back in the jar and then I'm putting it into the lid kind of swishing it back and forth to press it into that brush and once again we're going to take it on the inner corner first starting with the thinnest line on the inner corner I like to kind of just press it because then you don't have to 
Ooh, that might happen. If that happens, just don't worry. You can just wipe it off and then go back with your foundation. I'm gonna do that right now. And now I'm going to once again drag in short strokes a straight line across the entire eyelid. And now once I got to the edge, well, let me fill that in a little more. Once I get to the edge, I'm going to flick it up using the corner of my eye, that angle. And then take my brush, flip it, and drag it back onto that line we made. And then you can also take it like lift your lid and take it along here and that's going to make your lashes look super thick. Yeah, and that's how you get winged eyeliner using an angled brush and gel eyeliner. So I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you all later. Bye guys.